Hi guys, good morning to everyone. I am here to perform an activity. And our activity is calcium hydroxide. Formation of calcium hydroxide. So, before going to performing our activity, let me discuss what are the materials required for our activity. Beaker, calcium oxide, blue litmus paper, red litmus paper, spectula, watch glass, and distilled water. Before performing our activity, let me discuss what are the properties of calcium oxide. Calcium oxide is white crystalline powder and it is sparingly soluble in water. It is very irritant for our eyes, skin and mucous membrane. It is used in insecticides and fertilizers. fertilizers. It is hygroscopic in nature. It is cubic crystalline structure. Now we will perform in activity. Take 50 ml of water, pour, pour 50 ml of water in the beaker. And add small amount, small quantity of calcium. Fill it with glass rod. Now touch the bottom of the beaker. It is, we are, we are, we are, here we are absorbing heat. Heat is producing here, isn't it? So it is an exothermic reaction. So let us discuss what are the properties of this, this solution. And this solution is calcium hydroxide. So properties of calcium hydroxide are, it is hexagonal crystalline structure, sparingly soluble in water and its solubility decreases with increase in temperature. Now let me find the nature of the solution. Mix the solution and take blue litmus paper and dip it into the solution. No change. It is blue. And now take red litmus paper and dip it into the solution. So here red litmus paper turned to blue so it indicates basic base so the solution is basic in nature the conclusion is calcium oxide reacts with water it forms calcium hydroxide and it is exothermic reaction and it is basic in nature it is an example for chemical combination reaction thank you